Last week, Shopify released a new version of Dawn and their other free themes. So this applies to their themes like Sense, Refresh, and others. But I'll be honest, I think the updates are pretty underwhelming. Version 13 had a big swatch update, but it's still in early access mode and not available for us to use yet. It's version 14 now and not much has changed, except you can now add swatches to the filters, but on the swatch side, that's pretty much it. So I'll make this pretty quick just to cover some of the theme updates they've added into this new version 14. Now, I might be biased, but I think there's a lot more interesting customizations on our channel just to add features that you want that Shopify hasn't given us yet. If you find something you like, all I ask in return is for a like and subscribe. It helps us grow this channel so we can keep making these tutorials for you. All right, let's take a look at some of these theme updates. Okay, so this is the Dawn theme. If we scroll down, we can go to the support and documentation area and take a look at the release notes. So this is what's changed in version 14. Uh, they've added some things, changed some things and made some fixes and improvements. So uh, we've added Dawn version 14 to our uh, demo store um, and you can hit, click customize, which will open up the theme editor. So we've come to our default collection here um, and we can see that we have these filters here. So filters have always been there. Um, there's, uh, you can use the search and discovery app to control the filters. Um, I have a video on that, so I can add a link to the description on that video there on how to add that to your store. What they've said here is that you can now include images in your filters. So you can go to the apps uh, and then you go to the search and discovery app, and then you can go to the filters. Um, and then you can see here that there's this materials meta object. So I've added this in already, uh, but in order to do that, you could just do add filter and then you search for a source and then you pick a meta field uh, that has a meta object reference. Um, so what does that mean? It means that if you go to your products, we can go original t-shirt. So if you come down to the bottom here, you've got all these different meta fields that you may or may not have added. Uh, if you followed any one of uh, my tutorials, uh, then you likely have already added a meta field or worked with meta objects because we use that quite a lot in, the in our uh, customizations. Now, um, each one of these here is a meta field and some of them actually reference meta objects. So for example, we've got this materials meta object that we've created in a previous customization and it can reference different meta objects here. So you have a selection here. We've got polyester, we've got cotton. And so what we've done here is we can um, select the meta field that you want, which we've already done. And now we have this materials meta object as a filter, All right? So I can click into this and you can see here the cotton and polyester with those little images show up, right? It's the same images that you can see here that are options uh, for the, the meta field. And we can display it as uh, a swatch. You can display it as an image, right? And so once you've done that and saved it, you can actually see the swatch on your filter, right? It shows up right here. So that's currently <laughs> the only way we can see swatches in the new version of Dawn without having to use uh, further customizations like the ones that uh, I share on this channel. Um, I'm still waiting for the native, uh, the native version of swatches to be available on Dawn so that we don't have to do these workarounds. Um, but for now, it looks like we still have to use workarounds if we want swatches on the collection page or, or on the product page. Okay, so that's the extra filters you can do. So, right, so there's, we can, click this and it shows that well, there's only one product that has cotton as a, um, as a, as a material type. Okay. So next we can look at the, uh, quick add bulk fun functionality. So that's this one right here. So this is also on the collection page. If we come back to our theme editor, right, we can, uh, we can select the uh, product grid. So you can see here, there's this quick add section. 
Before it was a checkbox to either turn it on or not. Um, so uh, right now it's not on. You can see on the page, on the collections page, there's no quick add button. Uh, but if you do standard, it'll show up there. So we can save and refresh. And so if we click this button, it'll pop up a little window to change, choose the size and color that we want. With this update, you can now select bulk um, and it will give you some different options. So let's refresh this again. And we can choose the options. And now you can actually see all the sizes and colors available. And you can just quickly add the ones that you want. Um, if you need to add a whole bunch of products in bulk. And so it'll just sort of update your cart immediately uh, just through this uh, bulk updater, right? And so now we can see that there's a uh, 10 items in cart, you know, and we've got seven blue shirts, small and, and uh, a large black and then a 2XL black. So uh, this is just an additional feature that wasn't available before. And if you do a lot of bulk orders or you have B2B customers, this could be a nice little addition uh, or feature for them without having to go through and, and uh, manually adding all the products all at once. So yeah, cool little feature there. Okay, so next let's look at the uh, maximum number of products per page. So again, this is on the collection page. Uh, let's go back to our uh, collection page here and it can show, let's say products per page right here, 16. Uh, we can go all the way up to 36 now. Before it only went up to 24. Um, so this is just a change that you can even make in the uh, the setting schema uh, if we wanted to ourselves. Um, so uh, just allows you to show more at once. Um, if you want to go even further than 36, we could change that in the schema. Uh, but then you might start to run into some loading issues. So it, it's not necessarily something that you want to do. Same thing here, number of columns on desktop. Uh, before it only went up to five, uh, but now it can go up to six. So that's this update right here. So they can say uh, they've changed it so that multi-column collection list, product grids, and related products all have an increased maximum of six columns. All right. So that's that's what we're looking at here. We can go all the way up to six. Um, before it only went up to five. Um, so if we change it to six, then we'd get six columns here. So let's just uh, save this and then refresh. And there we go. So we've got six columns of products, right? So we can add 36 products per page, um, six columns, just changes some of the layout that you can have on your collections page. All right, so now we also have this quick order list section. So this is gonna be uh, on the product page. We can go to products. And this was a section that already existed. So quick order list. Um, this quick order list is uh, kind of similar to what we saw earlier, right? When we had the, uh, when we were looking at the, the quick add bulk functionality on the product grid, so on the collections page, it's the same thing, but on the individual products, right? So you can um, add all the products in bulk if you like. What they've said they've done here is that they've made it so that the, uh, there's better support for keyboard navigation. Now, I played with it a bit. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the additional keyboard navigation changes were. Um, I can say that it was a little bit easier to, I mean, you can look, kind of like tab through. Right, so if I, let's or let's say if I click this one, then you can kind of like tab through and hit enter. So I'm hitting enter right now to change the quantity. And you can change it pretty quick by doing that. So you can be like, okay, I need two XL here. And then I keep tabbing. Okay, I want some of these here and some of these here. So you can actually go through it pretty quickly. Um, now the previous version, it seems like you could tab through as well, but when hitting enter, um, you can see here like, um, it's uh, like enter, enter, enter. You can see how that kind of square stays in place for the most part. Um, when using the previous version, it would sometimes go away. So let's let's just kind of take a look at what that was previously. So if we look at um, version 13, right? So this is a, a Dawn version 13. Uh, if we, you know, update some of these, we can 
every time I hit enter, you can see the kind of square goes away. So it's a lot slower in terms of wanting to add multiple at once. I can't add them so quickly. Um, so that's the only change that I really noticed here is that you can, you can really quickly add um, your different quantities with the keyboard. Um, but it seems like a really minor change, um, especially when they say it's greatly improved. Um, I don't really know what they mean by that, uh, but I'm sure uh, one of you probably has seen something a little bit more um, on what has changed on that. Um, I personally haven't used the quick order list too much. So if you know what they're talking about here, just let me know in the comments. Um, I'm really curious what they mean by greatly improved there. Um, but yeah, and then now here, okay, so they've added some sign in with shop type of functionality. Now, I don't, I also don't really use uh, customer logins too, too much. Uh, if you have, say, uh, subscriptions that you offer on your website, you may want to use logins, but I haven't used it too, too much myself. But it seems like here, uh, there's, a, there's a classic customer accounts and there's uh, the, so actually, I'll just show you. So if you go come here, customer accounts, so you can choose if you want classic customer accounts or new customer accounts. And if you're using classic customer accounts, then you can actually uh, use sign in with shop. Now, um, I am in one of the supported countries, but I guess this is a development store. So it, for, for that reason, it probably doesn't recognize that uh, I'm in Canada. So it's uh, just giving me this message. But for you, you should be able to uh, use the sign in with shop option with the classic customer accounts. Um, and then the other change they say here is once you've signed in with shop, you'll see an avatar uh, with their shop account instead of just like a generic uh, avatar. So I think what they mean by that is like right here, you can see there's this little avatar prompted demo. Um, I mean, this is to Shopify admin, but this is kind of what they mean. I think you could kind of have your own little image. Um, so again, I think that's a really minor change there. Um, not really all that consequential on the functionality of your website. So overall, um, not too many changes that I would say are uh, really added functionality or, or really make a difference. Um, they've also made some fixes and improvements. Um, so you can kind of read through that uh, if if you find them useful to you. But again, I, I just generally find that the changes here are pretty non-consequential. So would I use this newest version? If you're starting fresh, it doesn't hurt to use it. It will be the default version you get anyway, so you might as well. But if you already set up your site or have a number of customizations on your theme, you can probably skip this one if you're already using an older version. So again, it seems like there's a lot of features and customizations that we would want to see that are still missing from Dawn and the other free Shopify themes. But like I mentioned before, that's what this channel is for. We have tons of customizations to add those features back into these free themes so that you can get those features without having to pay for apps, without having to pay for premium themes or anything like that. Since version 14 just came out, if some of them don't work with version 14, just let me know and I'll take a look into that and I'll work on making those updated. All right, so that's it for today. Just a little update on Shopify themes. We're going to come back to customizations in the next video. So just like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help us keep this channel growing, keeps us making these free tutorials. And until then, I'll see you in the next one.